Let's talk about cleaning and taking care of the Bernina L450 serger. So as you're noticing, the more you use it, the more all this area gets pretty linty, depending on the fabric that you're serging. You do notice that first off, the part, this post here that goes up and down through this kind of collar area, that's gonna be the part that you really wanna keep an eye on. As you clean this off and get the lint out, remember you got to brush right here in the front area. Get in and get all that area kind of removed and lint free. Of course, as we do that, out comes the lick, the the lubricant, the oil, I should say, that came with your surgery, that, that's all gonna be come out with that lint. So that means you're in a constant battle of always cleaning and then reapplying the oil back to those parts. So you can just give it a little squeeze in those little areas. Anything that moves on the serger is fair game for a little couple drops after you've really given it a nice brushing. Okay, so here's where the small little screwdriver that came with the serger. Go ahead and loosen these screws from the throat plate. And I'm actually gonna do this without unthreading the serger, but it'd be a good idea to unthread it uh, when we do this because we are gonna have a couple loose threads kind of floating around, but I bet we can kind of get that back in there. All right, so yes, unthreaded. This might, might be a good idea to even put some new needles in if it's been a while and you can't remember when the last time it was. Oh, and also unplugging it. It's probably gonna be, well, it always tells you in your manual to unplug things, so definitely follow your manual. I'm gonna leave mine plugged in so I can see what I'm doing. And then here, this is the throat plate, so we can kind of pull that out. I've got some stitches still on there, that's okay. And I can see that I'm getting some lint down in this area. So one thing that you don't want to do is blow into the serger. You don't want to actually get this lint further in. Definitely skip the canned air, take the time with the brush or even some of the miniature vacuum attachments that you can actually add to your current vacuum. And then you can open this up. So any place that there's things that can be moved and yep, I've been using this. That's uh, that's always a good sign. People always are so embarrassed when they bring their surger in to have it like annu their annual cleaning. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, it's dirty. I'm like, no, that means you've been using it. We'll take care of it from there because they're gonna take and open everything up and really get all the areas cleaned out. I think that's kind of what you're paying for. So um, now along with everything internally at your annual service, they're gonna open up all these parts. There's so many moving parts in a surger that need to be adjusted and checked and then oiled and lubricated. So here's what you can do. Anything that has a little bit of movement, some of these things that screw in and out, you can kind of put a few drops um, anywhere that is moving. And as afterwards, you can go ahead and run the serger and all those areas will kind of get a little um, disbursement of that actual oil. So when you go to put everything back together, we'll do our throat plate. We're kind of checking, making, oh yeah, a little bit more on the backside. And clean those off, looking good. Um, even a Q-tip could be a great place to start too in getting some of those um, little nooks and crannies pulled out there. So just go ahead, test out. And of course, once I put my screws back in here, I'm gonna put my foot on and then just make sure that everything's really aligned before I step on my foot control and make sure everything is uh, looking good. I, my needles are high enough if you put new needles in. Remember the left one is always higher than the right one. And also remember you do have, you know, after a good year's worth of, of surging, if you find that your fabric is kind of being not cut as nice and cleanly as it should, just based on the type of fabrics that you're mostly using, remember polyester fabrics like fleeces or trico, those are gonna kind of dull the knife a little faster. So if you have any trouble, remember you've got a spare knife that you can go ahead and replace on your own. And here we go, here comes my foot. I'm gonna just lower the presser foot down on that. And then once again, give myself a little turning and also that dispersing the oil that I've put in. And then just take a little scrap of fabric. We can kind of give that a little test here, make sure everything got back together and things are running nice and smooth. Your surgeon's gonna thank you. Anytime that you think about you need to clean it, you probably should. And then once a year, take it into your local Bernina store to have its annual cleaning. And it's really gonna keep it in top-notch condition for years and years to come.